guys welcome back to my channel my name is Olichumori and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how I glam my mama up so if you guys want to know how I achieve this look please keep on watching my mama so my mom visited and I decided to glam her so in this video I'll be giving you guys tips on how to glam an aged woman without looking older so I made my mama look younger so my mom is 74 and in this video I did a lot of things that made her look very natural first of all I moisturized her face using the Embarrelis um, face moisturizer and afterwards I went in with foundation so usually I believe that you're not supposed to use primers on aged women except they are moisturizing primers and why I chose Embarrelis is because Embarrelis is more like a two-in-one primer and moisturizer so that was what the only thing I used in prepping her skin so after using the Embarrelis, I went in with this foundation from Huda Beauty. I've actually fallen in love with Huda's thick foundation because it's so natural and it's, you know, it's not thick and <laughs> and mattifying like the other bottles. So this one is so good, especially for people that are aged. So I used it on my mom because I didn't want anything mattifying at all because I feel that mattifying will actually enhance the wrinkles on her face. And I'd advise if you want to do any age woman's makeup, please stay away from extremely mattifying stuff. If not, don't even go for anything that is mattifying. So after applying her foundation, I used Huda Beauty in Coco. So after applying her foundation, I still went in with my beauty blender to blend it right into her skin. Okay, so I'm just trying to blend in that foundation because I really don't want it to look as if it's not well blended. Trust me, you want to make sure that the foundation is sitting well because whatever that comes on top of that skin, if it's not sitting well, then you start having problems. Okay, so winding with this concealer in LA Pro, I, this is Tofi, yeah. I use Tofi for her, for her highlights, so I just added a little bit. Now, there's also something I need to talk about, which is about this concealer. Sometimes, I don't even advise to use concealers um, aged women, but because I really wanted to, you know, cover up a little bit of her dark circles that's what that was why i chose to use la girl so this shade is in toffee and i used very little you don't want to use so much concealer under there because you know that age women always have issues with puffy eyes it's either they are tearing because my mom tears a lot she had surgery eye surgery and i needed to really be careful with the products i put around her eye area so with or without the surgery, when doing makeup on older people, you really need to use less concealer so that it will be blendable and it won't look too harsh on the skin. So the next thing I went in to do was to contour her face, just to give her face a little bit of definition. I went in with my Blood Beauty Cosmetics Foundation. Uh, I can't remember the shade, but I'm going to leave it in my description box. So I just used it all over the perimeters of her forehead and cheekbones and her jawline as well just to give her face a little bit of definition. Oh, she was already tired of this makeup but <laughs> I forced her to sit on there till I'm done because what she's my mom, definitely she has to sit down. So you guys, when contouring go soft too and when blending make sure you're blending those colors you don't want her looking too dark or too i don't know but i feel that older people everything has to be minimal you know so whatever you put there make sure you blend it down it took me so much time to blend her foundation her concealer everything because i really don't want her to have harsh lines once she starts having harsh lines you can even feel that that's wrinkles all over her face 
So hashed lines can actually be like wrinkles, if not blended well. So I went in to also define her nails. Well, I needed to give her pointy nails as well because you know, the idea is to lift their face. I also forgot to mention the brows. When doing brows of aged women, I'd advise you to do an angle or soft angle brows. Because I remember when I started makeup, I my notes, even till now, I still use the same notes for my students. Uh, when we had, uh, when we wrote about brows, there are so many types of brows and when it comes to angled brows, I know that what it does is to lift the face. So that was the first thing that came to my mind that, okay, my mom needs a face lift and it has to start with her brows. That was why I took my time to do her brows first. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys the clip, but I'm sure that some of my videos already have you know my brow tutorials on how I do brows on my clients or my models so please pardon me for that so all you need to know is that make sure you blend well make sure the brows are well lifted you can see that my mom's looking like a young as a young keep a babe you know so <laughs> okay so I went in to do the blush now about blush, you really need to put a little and why I chose creamy blush is because I felt it's going to bring warmth and freshness to her face. Then after that blush, I still went in with a lighter concealer to conceal her eyes, under her eyes because I felt that she needed a little bit of brightness under her eyes. So you can see the difference after I added the blush, I went in to use a highlight. So for setting, you guys already know I like to use powder puff to set, but I chose not to this time because I really don't want under her eyes to be too dry. If it's too dry, then you're really taking out all the freshness from her skin. Knowing that she's an aged woman and she obviously has lines under her eyes, so you really don't need to make that too dry. So I had to use the same beauty blender I use for my foundation to add a little bit of this setting powder from Dara Mercier in medium, no not medium, it's actually medium to dark, it's for dark skin people. That's the same shade I also use on myself. So that was what I used on my mom and I didn't go too heavy on that. So afterwards I went to into the eyeshadow. I know I didn't give really, I didn't really give details about the eyeshadow because I really wanted her eyes to pop but at the same time look very very subtle so now you can see how i'm taking my time to set her face all those places that might you know crease you don't also want her face to crease because when there are wrinkles it's easier for the the concealer or whatever cream you use on the face to crease so that was why i went in to set that face very well and I went back to use my Dabelle Cosmetics powder. You guys already know it's my favorite from my previous videos. So I had to set other parts of her face where I haven't set. And I used a darker shade on her forehead just to give an illusion of a contour. So that's it. So looking at my mom's face and uh, seeing how beautiful her brows are and I, I can see the lift and I'm happy I you know I made that decision so whenever you're doing HP always remember the first thing is to for their face to have a lift it's in your hands guys it's in your hands so you have to make it happen so I just went in to set the concealer and indirectly contoured her nose using the same powder I used on her forehead area. Now if you can see I'm not making the nose too dark. You don't want your <laughs> your client or your mom to look too old. You just have to go minimal with everything. So using this new Pansy Collection palette, they gave me 
It's a PR package I received just some days ago. I just decided to use the colors on it. They are quite pigmented though. But I didn't go heavy because I knew how pigmented they are. So I, I really went soft because I know that I'm doing um, pigments on my mom's eyes and I really don't want the base of the eyeshadow to look too heavy. So I went in very light and made sure I blended all corners. Now, another thing you need to know guys is that if you can notice what I'm doing here, I'm trying to use my fingers to raise her eyelid. Reason is because our aged clients or moms, they always have wrinkles around their eye area. You know, we already have a crease line, but they tend to have more crease lines just because of their age. So, in a way to get that eyeshadow properly blended, you really need to raise her eyelid, you know, to get into those lines because if you don't do that, when you put the eyeshadow, you will notice that there are some parts that doesn't have um, eyeshadow in it. You can see holes. So I try as much as possible to lift her eye area. And then I notice that I'm not extending so much of the color upwards because I really don't want my mom to look like a masquerade. So the idea is to make her look glam and also look very fresh and makeup looking sort of okay i took a risk here i did pigments for me i feel the best eye makeup to do on age women are matte shadows even if you have to use a she, um, she mask it has to be very very little just to brighten up their eyes but if you notice that when i use my pigments um i mean i took this risk but i knew what i was doing so you can see that this pigment I used on her eyelid, I didn't allow it to get to pass the crease. Reason is because once it passes that crease, it will even make the crease line even more obvious. So I tried as much as possible to stop before the crease line. And knowing that I'm going to pull lashes, it's going to straighten out her eyelid. So if you're also trying to take this kind of risk that I took today, that thing that actually came out nice. Please try as much as possible not to let your shimmer eyeshadows go above your crease line. Please, I beg you, leave it on God. Trust me, once you follow these steps, you're definitely going to get everything right. So going in with my powder, I'm trying to blend out the excesses that fell on her face using my Vika Bell um, multi-purpose brush. Well, it's like a powder brush. I also use it for blushes. So, I blended everything. And if you're swiping, please take it easy. Take it, do it softly. Don't go heavy handed. So, after bl uh, blending out, I went into blush. You guys already know I used uh, liquid blush before. So, but I went in with a softer powder blush just to intensify it. So going in with my favorite gel liner, I lined her eyelid and I really kept it very tiny. We don't also need to make it heavy or bigger than what it's supposed to be. You can see my mom has little eyelids, so I, I tried as much as possible to keep it very small because you don't want to overline and when you overline them, it will now take out the eye details, no. I tried as much as possible to keep it simple and then going in with this serum mascara I used it to you know darken her lashes so another thing I need to talk about is the lashes when choosing lashes for age women please I'd advise you go very light go for a very natural it can be wispy it can be um, short wispy so far that it's natural please try as much as possible not to give them something that is too big because it's going to overburden in their eyes so I, I use this wink lashes this style is in beautified and I really love how it suits my mom Do you, can you believe I really trained this lashes like I had to train the beginning so it can fit into my mom's eyes I did it because I didn't want it all over and she actually didn't want the lashes I literally begged her to allow me that I'm going to do natural lashes for her 
which I did and I love the outcome. So for her brows, I used this brow gel from what's this brand? <laughs> Sorry. I use I'll wait give it below so you guys I'm sorry I can't remember all the names so I'm definitely going to leave it in the description box so for blush always I use um, B Beauty I went very light as well because I was still going to put my um, cheek lace so I went very subtle with the blush and I wore her wig and then we are onto the lips so for the lips I use this beauty line by Didi lip pencil I actually forgot I had this in my box and so I didn't want my mom's lips to be too dark or too bright so I needed to use pencil just to outline her lips just to give it a little bit of definition and as you can see my mom has pink lips yes she doesn't like lipstick so I promised her I was going to use the exact color of her lips on her lip just so she feels comfortable in it <laughs> so i went in with this eye magic palette i had to use the brown color in it just to intensify the pencil i used earlier and make it appear softer and afterwards i went in with a pink color from the eye magic but before that i had to apply the lip gloss because i forgot to put lip balm on her lips just to make her lips softer before applying the main lipstick so you can see this pink color actually looks exactly like my mom's lips and i try as much as possible to blend it into that brown color so it doesn't look um, too much of course she was going to clean it if it was too much so i had to respect her and made it very subtle so i still went in with the brown to blend it down making sure that it's not all over her lips or too much okay so after that i went in with gloss just to pop it up a little bit so guys okay guys so after blending my mom's lips i went in with the gloss to gloss up her lips and then afterwards i went in to highlight her face with my favorite highlighter from 89 cosmetics this highlighter i usually use on um, women of color dark people per se you can use it on a light person even though there are shades for light people so this particular shade is a boomy boomy is for dark skin clients dark skin anybody that is dark skin so that was exactly what i used on my mom and i used this Nuban Beauty brush which I love so much I'm definitely going to leave the number below so um, the highlighter is a little bit obvious but you should also try to blend down so it doesn't look too much so my mom just has this subtle glow and that is how it's supposed to be for aged women you don't need to do too much on them so going in with my TM Essential cheek lace I just used it to add a little bit of, you know, glow or rather plum. I just wanted her cheeks to look a little bit plump. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please don't forget to comment below. I'm definitely going to reply to you guys. And if you have any other suggestions about the looks you want, you would love me to create. I'm open to your suggestions. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.